with Madison Bell. I'm here with Mr. Carter as well. Um, we came to Adrian and Angela's uh, home today to do a home invasion with their dogs, uh, Rio and Primo. Um, it was Rio's second time and Primo's... He will learn um, how to hold the commands in the future. Mm -hmm. um, I learned that basically I was, in a sense, enabling him because I was not using the commands properly. Yeah. So I, I've learned that even through all this wonderful training that I must uh, use the commands as I'm being taught to yeah. train justice. Yeah, so part of the um, training is, you know, training the dog, but we also have to train the owner because, you know, we can train the dog, but if the owner doesn't understand how to fully, you know, utilize the tools or, you know, what we've done with the dog. Um, so, how do you guys feel overall that it went? Great. Great. It's great. Very, very yeah. As part of our continued training, because we've been seeing them for a little while, um, do you think it helps to have a trainer that is committed to your dog training needs throughout, you know, the your dog's years and throughout their life and everything? Oh, most definitely. Yeah. I mean, that's how do we we improve everything is to have yeah. a good trainer to come out. And, <laughs> yeah. And, train with them at home yeah and keep up with maintenance and everything so they looked great so um, when you first uh, purchased your dogs did you think that this level of training would be involved in the process like did you think it would be like this intense and like all like all this stuff happening not at first but <laughs> as you know we started out with Rio I started seeing more and more so yeah. then I expected it would we would get they could regress and you know have issues like you've been having at the gym and all yes. that so you kind of have to know how to you know handle the situation properly keep them in control mm -hmm. and use those commands and tools and everything that you have um, to keep him by you and everything right. so um, how do you feel about not having to use a prong collar anymore it is wonderful <laughs> <laughs> not to have to use the prong collar anymore um, you know, Justice wears a vest when he goes out places. And, you know, um, I'm big on image. Um, it's not everything, but it is something. And um, with Justice being such a beautiful dog and wearing the vest and looking like he's a well-trained dog, but having the prong kind of gave me kind of like a little uncomfortableness uh, when it comes to the views of others. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and what do you like most about the Madison Bell training programs? Well, basically everything because I mean every day we go and there is something new and he always explains everything mm -hmm. and we learn a lot from him so mm -hmm. that's one of the things it keeps us like keep going with him because every day is something new with him mm -hmm. and you see these dogs and yeah. we hide another <laughs> ones in there so he is yeah. The trainer for them. Yeah, it's definitely. A new, a new thing for us, and we're so glad we found him. So. Yeah, Mr. Carter is definitely a great trainer. He's very thorough, and 
he knows a lot about what he's doing so that's mm -hmm. good um how does having a dog train and protection make you feel for your home safety like do you feel better about it um like seeing them in action today with yeah, that dog on. so it is wonderful now to be able to take him out and have him in his vest and have others see him and yeah. see him mannerable without such an aggressive looking um prong collar training tools are meant to be used forever so you know using the e-collar and everything um you know eventually we'd want to move off of that um so do you feel confident thank you so much for having us come out here um we look forward to working with him more in the future did you have any more questions or concerns or comments you wanted to make before we head out um i just want to say um thank you to Madisonville for helping us with this dog gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and we just thank y'all for being here for us and, and our family. Of course, anytime. All right, that's it. Uh, like, how does that make you feel? Makes me feel good because we have three small children, mm -hmm. and knowing that I can go and leave them home with the dogs, I know they're safe at all times. Okay. So, that leads up to my next question. Um, <coughs> do you feel uh, safe with your children being around the dogs? Oh, most definitely. Even yeah. though they're trained in protection and all that? Um, okay, all right. One of the points is I feel real safe because <laughs> he allowed one time the small kid we have train one of the dogs. Oh, so really? <laughs> she can control the dog because he built confidence in one of the kids. That's awesome. And that yeah. kid is like dog lover. Yeah. And awesome. she